Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton and this is the Staying Healthy Today Show and I'm with Dr. Cyrus Kambata, uh, PhD, he's a, has a PhD in nutritional biochemistry and I just interviewed him on the role of plant-based diets reversing insulin resistance. So why don't you just tell us a couple of the highlights of what insulin resistance is and how do you reverse it? Let's just cut to the chase. Sure, so uh, insulin resistance is, is defined as uh, the storage of fat in tissues that are not designed to store fat. So there's really only one tissue in your body which is designed to store fat, which is your adipose tissue, your fat tissue, which is located all over the place. The problem is that when, when we eat diets that are high in fat, greater than 15% of total calories, we end up accumulating fat in tissues like our muscle. So it gets embedded in your shoulder, your legs, your liver, your pancreas. And as a result of that, those tissues lose their ability to respond to insulin. They're basically trying to block more energy from coming into the tissue because they already have so much. And as a result of that, when you go and eat something like a potato or a banana and that glucose becomes available in your bloodstream, the tissue says, I'm closed for business, I don't want any glucose, and it basically stops responding to insulin. So that's a problem because uh, it's the high fat diet that caused the insulin resistance in the first place, and then it results in your inability to consume carbohydrates. So one misnomer is that carbohydrates cause the insulin resistance. So what right. I've taken from not just uh, Dr. Kambada, but a variety of other people. By the way, Dr. Kambada is a type 1 diabetic and has been using actually not just a plant-based diet, but a raw plant-based diet for years to control his di diabetes type 1 and to get his the insulin down to the appropriate level. So he knows this work firsthand. Inside and out. Yeah. Inside and out. But one of the things we hear all the time is you got to get enough carbs to reduce your insulin resistance. My take home from what I've list learned from Dr. Kambada and many other people is you get off process carbohydrate, eat good carbohydrate, lentils, peas, beans, whole plant food, you cut your fat down so insulin can push the sugar into the cell because Correct. there's not fat in the cell, and that's how you rapidly reverse diabetes. He does a, a, five, a four or five day workshop where they reverse diabetes and drop blood sugars dramatically, and we've heard this from other immersion programs. So. Any other thing you want to say of how someone can reverse insulin resistance quickly and then tell them about your program? Absolutely. Yeah, so there's a lot of confusion in the world of diabetes. And we have to understand that you know when you go on the internet and when you read books, everybody's shouting saying, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Just follow this program. So as an individual, you have 20 different options and you can end up experimenting with a whole bunch of things and then eventually damaging your health in the long term. Uh, Insulin resistance is caused by the accumulation of fat in tissues that are not designed to store fat, period. So insulin resistance, you can think of it as fat overfeeding. And once you really like think about that and really l learn from the people that have gone through and reverse diabetes, one thing will become pretty obvious, which is that by restricting your fat intake and by eating all types of whole carbohydrates from beans, lentils, peas, fruits, vegetables, quinoa, brown rice, whole grains, that's when not only are you enjoying the food that you're eating, but when your ability to control your blood glucose becomes in your hands. And it's really, it took me a long time to get there, but having gone through it myself, having gone back to school and having now helped thousands of people around the world do it, it's very obvious that when you apply the approach and you do it properly, you do it sustainably, it works almost every single time. So. My name is Kirk Hamilton. This is the Staying Healthy Today Show. I just got finished interviewing Cyrus, and you can the link is below for about 35-minute discussion of this very topic of how to reverse your insulin resistance, and you really need to listen to it to understand it. We're not talking about eating carbohydrates that are refined with a lot of fat and oil and sugar added to them. We're talking about whole food carbohydrates. That's a treat diet of choice. So how do they get a hold of you, and then... Yeah, how do they get a hold of you? Okay, so if you can go to either one of two websites, either mangomannutrition.com or you can go to masteringdiabetes.org. Both of them will give you an opportunity to learn about our group coaching program and get in contact with me. Uh, we run either internet-based group coaching programs. So as long as you have uh, an ability to connect to the internet anywhere in the world, you can participate whether you're living with type 1 diabetes, pre-diabetes, or type 2 diabetes. And in that program, we'll show you how to make these dietary changes from the comfort of your own home. Then the second thing is that we have uh, retreats that happen about twice a year. And these retreats are in Southern California. It's a, it's a four day long uh, intensive sort of like boot camp into insulin sensitivity. You come, we feed you, we teach you, we exercise with you. 
and in the process you get to learn all this information and then go back into your normal everyday routine and try and make it work as well. So if either one of those two makes sense for you, uh, we highly recommend it and uh, we're here Can to you help. you give the website for that? Sure. So it's masteringdiabetes.org or mangomannutrition.com. Either one gets you the same place. So this is Kirk Hamilton. This is Dr. Kambata. You can reverse your diabetes. I'm just telling you right now. 100%. And so listen to the podcast. I'll have the links below. Go to stayinghealthytoday.com. You have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you soon.